Hey folks, I know it's been a while since I did a lightsaber review, but I've sort of uh, ended up going through my whole collection now. It's just as and when I get them, which uh, is going to be probably a two-ish, probably more each year. I'll probably start winding down a bit. But uh, there's still a few of these on to go through. It's a cool hobby, but uh, some of them uh, can, can be expensive. Second hand, it's a whole different story. But uh, they do take a bit of room too. Got to get some hooks for displays. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling here. So, uh, yeah, what I've got here is uh, it's a second hander. It's uh, Saber Forge, and it's uh, what's the name? What's the name? It's uh, Chosen. And that's it. It's uh, Chosen and uh, Mark One, which quite obviously is based very heavily on the uh, Luke Skywalker's hilt from uh, Episode Six. Just a slightly more streamlined version, which a lot of lightsaber companies seem to do a kind of light, uh, streamlined version. Obviously, Saber Forge does uh, Ultra Sabers, well, streamlined as, uh, as what uh, Ultra Sabers uh, <laughs> in the Ultra Saber size, anyway. Uh, and uh, the LG. The LGT clones, they, they got uh, a streamlined version, but uh, anyway, this is the one I got, so uh, this is what I'm going to be talking about. So, as you can see, it's a very, very nice thin neck saber here. The thing I like about this streamlined version, it doesn't have that big chunky control box, which the genuine article does, which I think really kind of very clunky and uncomfortable looking thing, I, which seems to be a feature on the original trilogy lightsabers for some reason. Still, uh, I'm going to go about this. This is an old Saber Forge, it's the Mark I version, which I have seen reviews of the Mark II, so uh, there's advantages and disadvantages of the Mark I. Uh, specifically, I'm going to turn it around. I think on the Mark II you've, you've got the, like those that detailing around here, the uh, little holes or all that kind of thing. Well, it's here it, it's just uh, like a standard smooth long there, but on the Mark II's, I think this is all silver along here. Well, here we've got black detailing in between these cubes here, and uh, I think that looks just a lot better, really. So, the pommel. Oh, might as well start going through the little tools. I'll stick my finger in there, breaking the speaker. Terrible habit. Yeah, there's the pommel goes it goes in a bit, not massively, but a bit. Of oh, good protection, and of course you've got a little kind of grill set up in there. I just had a glimpse of it then, but I lost it. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So you've got this kind of uh, brushed aluminium kind of uh, finish to it. You've got the cover tip wheel. It's, it's that nice cover tip wheel with the kind of uh, detailing right there. Actually, the kind of detailing I was really uh, had in mind for the emitter. It was that kind of thing. But yeah, that looks very nice. you got the... Uh, classic Luke Skywalker kind of uh, 
grenade grip along here. Is that grip? Yeah, it's all black and silver. Very grippy in there. Very nice. You've got the switch here, which is the AV switch with the uh, kill key and the uh, in that what that kill key's hiding is uh, charging port because uh, as this is an older one, this actually sports the uh, Sabre Core Viridian soundboard, which I'll fire up in a moment. It's, of course, got that's a green battle series switch and uh, you go on to the thin neck section it's got very nice kind of texture to that anodized black area and i think the led actually is right here that's that's the uh, screw securing it so the light goes all the way up through there which i've heard a lot of people say the these uh, thin necks or the in the hill versions are a bit dimmer compared to most of the others, but I find this this is quite bright actually from uh, what I've seen after do a comparison really. But uh, it seems bright enough. Of course, maybe it's due with the fact that in there, I think you just about see it. You've got kind of a, a section on the inside of your emitter where it focuses a light right up inside the blade which probably compensates for how far it, uh, the light has to go and uh, of course here yeah, you've got the uh, Luke Skywalker-esque emitter really got these two thin neck section areas they seem pretty solid though uh, this, I wouldn't go heavy dueling with this or anything like that and the uh, blade depth not too bad actually this seems quite secure I've got a 36 inch heavy grey blade which came with this so uh, it, that's a good challenge and bit of waste but manages it quite well anyway let's just take the kill key out Santa Claus, Nice and like that. Of course it's in green because, you know, Luke Silt. Looks quite bright. Nice, nice kind of bright look to it. Quite a good speaker as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, strange enough, this came with two kill keys. So that's good to have a spare. So uh, yeah, there's, there haven't been uh, that many uh, I don't know, things to say. I haven't been there that many thin necks in my collection. I think I've just got about one other, I think, that fire blaze. But uh, I just saw this on eBay and, and thought, oh, I, I need a, a lightsaber, which is a single colour green. And uh, this seems like the perfect one for a green, you know, kind of a, a hero green lightsaber. So overall, I'd say I'm quite uh, happy with this. It's a very nice looking hilt. The electronics still work quite well. And, you know, it's, it's an older same board and uh, no smooth swing or anything, but quite responsive, as you heard. So, hopefully I've been waving this around, this uh, camera around too much. Of course, I, I, I'm talking about the saber and trying to film at the same time, and I'm not. I'm not one for uh, doing more than one thing at the same time and doing it well. 
still if you enjoyed this look at this see before choosing and uh, a little demo of, of the odd electronics so i'll do a few shorts of some of my savers which of the older stuff some with the newer stuff as well so hopefully you enjoyed this review and uh, find it interesting having a look at this look saber here and uh It'd be interesting to hear about uh, what Sabre Force purchases or eBay purchases you have or just what lightsabers you have in your collections or comments on the, on their sales really. So uh, that's all for now. Thanks yeah. anyone who's watching at this point. Always appreciated and uh, see you in the next one.